Hello there, welcome to another graphic review. Uh, this time it's going to be The Last of Us American Dreams, written by Neil Druckmann with art by Faith Erin Hicks. Uh, this is the prequel to not only The Last of Us but also the prequel to The Last of Us DLC Left Behind. The reason I chose to do The Last of Us today is because uh, Last of Us One Night Live was on and it's the video is now on YouTube and um, they've announced at Comic-Con the film well they kind of announced that Neil Druckmann was co-writing the script a while back but now it's been confirmed that Maisie Williams at least is interested those of you that know Maisie Williams is Arya Stark in Game of Thrones so um, so yeah this is basically it takes place before the events of Left Behind so it's about Ellie and Riley meeting for the first time and them you know just having their little moments together, just a bit more character development um, of these two characters that you get to know a lot more in the Left Behind DLC. If we flip through some pages you can give you an idea of what the art is like. Basically um, it starts off with Ellie is by herself, she's on this bus, she comes to a crossing and she tries to, because she still has her attitude, it hasn't changed, she hasn't met Marlene yet or anyone like that yet, um, she's just kind of by herself as a lonesome and then someone tries to them she has like if you have played the game a lot of these little details make sense and are really sweet to kind of see like these little touches inside um, for example um, if you look in her backpack um, with Ellie you see like she has a Sony a cassette um, the tape with music on it and it starts off basically how someone's because she's a new girl in this new camp with survivors she's not being treated the way that well she wants to be um, they try and pick her, they try and take a cassette tape, that's when Riley comes to her rescue and and yeah, and basically then them, Riley and Ellie decide to sneak out and explore the town, Ellie's like, Ellie's actually the one who's like well I don't think that's such a good idea and then Riley's like, well come on, don't be so scared, you know, like what you got to lose? <laughs> Besides me, obviously, you know, living in a world full of clickers and infected and whatnot but you see like, for example, there's a scene in the game um, with a horse and yeah, Ellie seems to know how to ride one without an explanation. There's, they go into some details here. Um, there's not really that much action, so to speak. Uh, it is more uh, just character development, just kind of giving you more of a, an idea of the, what the world is like. You know, this kind of really messed up post apocalyptic kind of infected world. Um, they do meet an infected, not a full on clicker, they meet an infected. And yeah, um, oh yeah, that's what the infected look like in uh, graphic novel form. You know, things go crazy. I mean, nothing's gonna be spoiled, don't worry. Um, and yeah, it's a really good story. I recommend it for anyone who's a fan of the game. There's what was her name? Child Knives, I want to say Angel Knives. Angel Knives. You see arcade machine in the game. There's Marlene. You see how Marlene kind of looks like a cross between Angel Knives and. No, I mean Angel Knives across between kind of Marlene and Riley. Um, no connection. Don't worry, there's no connection. Um, Riley is just a fan, and this is why Ellie becomes a fan as well. But this is just a short review of the American Dreams graphic novel. Um, I will put a note at the beginning saying that there may be spoilers ahead because if you've never read the or never played the game, then there's a lot of things that will be new to you. But if you have played the game and you haven't read this, definitely read it, it gives you some more character exposition and details before playing Left Behind which also comes out on PS4 as a remastered edition 60 frames per second and all that jolly goodness um, so yeah, Last of Us American Dreams amazing um, I did it with my Rocket Raccoon but like I don't really give ratings and like the Rocket Raccoon one made sense because I never bought it, it was given you know, so I didn't know what I was getting myself into but Usually when I buy a graphic novel it's because I want to read it, so you're probably going to get this a lot, but it is a 10 out of 10. So stay tuned for more, and peace!